Hello, everybody. Good morning. So today, we are going to cover how to work around a prospect's objection if it is about money and also helping them understand how to make an investment in themselves. So quick shout out. This is a topic that was requested by Tisha. So let me go ahead and share hers. There we go. And she says, Thank you, close one. Here's my question. How do you work around prospects? objections around money and making the investment in themselves well tisha the good news is it's very easy today i will share two, two things, things you, you must, must do, do to, to work, work around, around money, money objection. objection let's, let's get, get started, started. <laughs> Okay, so the short answer to this is to learn how to read people. It's so important to understand what people really mean when they have any type of money objection. Whether if it's your price is too high, your price is too expensive, I can't afford it, I don't have money, so and so and so and so. You have to learn how to read people. In this framework, I'm going to help you how to read your prospect's mind. And I'm going to help you teach them how to make an investment in themselves. So, tip number one. To read people, you need to dig deep. Dig deep. <laughs> to do this, you need to focus on yourself. You have to strengthen the level of your awareness about yourself that is head and shoulders above other people. Okay? You have to know yourself more than, more than other people know themselves. There is a precise method to this. So here it is. Number one, whenever you form an opinion, so the first seven seconds of meeting someone is very important because the minute you meet them, chances are you're already formulating opinions about that person. Okay? Some examples would be, whoa, this person is great. I can only handle this person. Uh, maybe never. <laughs> or... Wow, this person is incredibly intelligent and I would really love to pick their brain. Hmm. Or maybe, eh, not sure I can trust them. Something's not right. Something's wrong. You found Mina. I thought she was lost. Where to be married as soon as I return. Are you married, Count? In those short seconds or minutes that you've met someone for the very first time, you've picked up on these subtle cues that subconsciously formed within your mind, and you have to be very good at internally recognizing when you do make an opinion about other people, because you know what? They too are making an opinion about you, because you are also showing subtle cues about your feelings and what you think about them and immediately if you distrust someone the other person will feel that judgment they and they will reciprocate it that exact same feeling so whatever you project they're probably picking up on your cues i know i get judged a lot 
like by the 600 subscribers. Yeah, we made 600 subscribers today. That are judging me. Nah, I love you guys. I know you're not judging me. Thank you so much for subscribing. So, immediately be aware of how you feel and the, the opinions that you form about other people. Because even though we are not cool as a cucumber, right? We are born to mirror one another. <laughs> it's called the mirror neurons. Ta -da. So instead of forming that opinion, or if you do form an opinion, catch it right away, identify that opinion, internally evaluate it, and discreetly change course. <laughs> change course let's say the client says zen it's just too expensive tisha it is just too expensive you might be thinking oh god you're cheap or ah oh, you don't understand or ah oh, you're just not receptive you have to reassess your opinion and help them understand why the price is the way it is. So one way of doing that, one way to change course from someone who is judging your prospect, right? You're showing a little bit of judgment. Be someone who teaches. Go from a judgy person to a teacher. Example, Zen, your price is too expensive. Then you say, my price is expensive. It's $10,000 per month. The reason why it is $10,000 per month is because you will get a developer, you will build your automation flows and integration. You will have a virtual sales development rep to book sales meetings so that you don't have to spend all that time prospecting. You will get me as your closer for the price of a developer, an SDR, and an enterprise account executive. You will get three extended human resources so that you and your business can generate more revenue. Okay, so let's try it again. Tisha, your price, it's just too expensive. So Tisha, if I were you, I would say something like this. The reason why 10K is our price is because one, you'll tap into a community of masterminds who will coach you on how to become X, Y, Z. And that could be a cabajillionaire, right? It could be you overcome fear. It could be you'll gain so much more confidence. And what, what can you get with that confidence? You can get a raise. You can build your business. You can be the leader that you've always wanted to be. Another reason why it's 10K is because you'll get to accelerate the pace of your changes into having a growth mindset in 21 days because we program these challenges so that you can take actionable steps and these are tailored exactly to your life goals. What do you say? Okay, so another, another way of um, working around the money objection is, well, I'm pretending I'm Tisha. It's $10,000 because you will tap into my 1 million followers. I will promote you and I will talk about your business to my 1 million followers on LinkedIn. How much does that cost to you? So there is another example, right? So I've given you three different examples. Obviously, you could uh, tailor, tailor that uh, script to your business. And there's so many ways of tailoring it. So, homies, my people, the next time someone teaches you... How many of you got customers that will lie to you? Then stop them from lying to you. Think again, really. Just, like, stop, stop all this crazy nonsense. Because you might be exhibiting the same projection, the same feelings, such as... Good, why don't you just... You get price objections at 169 Change it to 269. <laughs> They're going to complain about it either way. So be very, very careful on how you form opinions about others. Be aware of your own opinions. If they are bad, change course. Quick. Tip number 
two. Tip number two is very important. Attention. Engaged emotions. Ayy, yee, yee. It does not stand for account executive. It stands for attention and engaged emotions. So this is the easiest because you know when someone is paying attention to you and you know when someone is not. They could be on their phone, you know, you're trying to talk to them and they're multitasking on their computer. You're trying to talk to them and, you know, they're just not looking at you. They're probably facing like a completely separate, like, way, like, like this. Uh-huh, yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> the easiest way to get back their attention is to... Are you ready? Say their name. <laughs> Say my name, say my name. Okay, no really, say their name. So I am usually on calls with 10 people uh, and when I notice someone is not paying attention, I will say, so Jafar, what do you think? <laughs> and they'll stop and they'll think about it, right? And then you have to engage their emotion. Non-engage would be if you've completed showing a demonstration, right? And ask, so what do you think? And literally the prospect is like, mm-hmm, yep. It's okay, uh-huh, yep, yep. They're not paying attention. So to engage, use your body gesture, stop what you're doing, face them directly, look into the camera, and say, Jafar, how do you feel? How do you feel? Motion creates emotion. Motion creates emotion. At Yelp, we never use Zoom. So we literally had to pace back and forth around the office to simulate this emotion. You can't do that on Zoom. So instead, do this. How do you feel? I talk about this on another video called Price is Too High Objection. If those three tips are combined with these two, you will dramatically increase your way of reading prospects and overcoming any sales objections. I work very hard creating these videos and so to show your appreciation, feel free to boop the like button. Okay? Number four. Identify behavior patterns. Yeah, the best way to read your prospect, guess what? Is by reading patterns. So let's say you are on a Zoom call. 100% of the time, they will ask you, How are you? Like, that was the, that's usually the icebreaker. So have something prepared, even for the rapport building section. One thing I like to say is, I am feeling nice and warm because my cup of coffee is just freshly brewed. It's from Phil's in San Francisco. You need to try it. Or have you ever tried it? So by talking about that warm feeling instantly, you're making your prospects and you're setting up the stage, the tone of this call that it's going to be a nice and warm call. We're going to have a nice warm time. 100% of the time, right? So pr predict and identify behavior pattern. 100% of the time, you will ask questions. We call this qualifying. 
So make those questions fun. Make sure it's not just like a rapid fire interrogation. Make sure that you create a way for this qualification stage to be a discussion that you're inquiring you're probing and you're very very curious another thing to identify patterns is out of qualifying right saying how are you 100% of the time it's going to happen 25% of the time you're going to show a tailored demo on that call and then the other 75% you might just let them go because you have to tailor the conversation of course so if your needs align right? They're going to ask you if you've done everything right, everything, the next behavior that will happen is they will ask, how much is it? Zen, how much is it? And you have to welcome this. This is great news. You have to celebrate because I know for a fact, patterns of the call, the per, the minute the person asks, how much is it? I've done a good job. No matter how banal the topic could be, I know that I'm doing a good job because now they're thinking about purchasing and that's exactly the mindset you want them to be in a purchasing mindset. So ask, how much is it? And based on their status, based on their use case, they're going to probably say, ooh, that's too expensive. They'll never say, ooh, that's too cheap. Your price could be $29 per month or $39 per month or $100 per month. They're still going to say it's too expensive. So just expect it, right? If they're coming from a competitor, they will probably think or say something like, oh, localize is a good price. That was very transparent. If they're coming from no background at all, like they are not vetting us, there's no benchmark, they're probably going to say it is too expensive. So expect those different scenarios because they have no benchmark or they have no set expectations of what a TMS would cost. They're going to say it's too expensive. Okay. A few things to cover here. Number one, never recommend a higher tier if requirements can be purchased with a standard tier. Or a lower tier. Watch this. So look, he's got a 169 product. They complain about the price. He should have a 269 pro product. Let him complain about the price. A 469 product. Complain about the price. He ought to have a thousand dollar and ninety nine dollar product and let him complain about the price. He ought to have a thirty nine hundred ninety nine dollar product and let them complain about that price too. Because that's all they're going to do is complain about it. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, that's a lot of money. Oh my God, that's, oh, that's crazy. You know what he does? He, he goes to Whole Foods and complains about the price. They go to dinner and complain about that price. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, salespeople, closers, my homies. While this can be true, it is also very, very annoying. Trust. So I identify both as a salesperson and as a prospect. When a salesperson does this to me, I automatically counter. Um, so attention, sales leaders, attention. Listen up, coaches, influencers. Do not teach these slimy methods. They will punch you in the face. Right back in the face. Here's a quick story. So my wifey and I, we went to Thailand uh, in 2018. And we wanted Dungeness crab. And we searched all over the island for Dungeness crab. And we found a place. It went viral. It is a popular place. And the waitress of this restaurant obviously knew we were tourists because we're not speaking their language we're not speaking in their native tongue and comes up to us and priced the crab at 40 dollars per crab okay that this restaurant was packed uh, so many people there so we asked our neighbor right patron and we just asked them look buddy hey how much did you buy that crab how much did you pay for it and they said it was only five dollars per crab come on wow so immediately my family and i we called the restaurant owner we're like can we talk to your owner please you know we're visiting all the way from san francisco we found you on a viral video on facebook 
we're here as patrons and we're going to support your business could you give us the rate crabs are supposed to be which is what was it again what was it again and they said five dollars for crab and so the business owner felt so embarrassed and the business owner was basically bending over backwards to not only give us the rate at the right rate right the business owner was also giving us free food in return for good reviews on facebook and so these things are so important because you don't want to like rip people off that's that's just awful business patterns so you have to identify business patterns uh, to help yourself read your prospects but to do that you need to read yourself the main point here is building trust because people buy from people they trust another way of saying that is people buy from people they like in this case we did not buy from the host we literally had to call the business owner and we bought from the business owner so you have to build rapport with your prospects by understanding yourself and how you feel about that prospect so if you like this content i work really hard editing them and making them uh slightly silly <laughs> for you for you all uh subscribe or like the button and that'll help us uh with visibility within youtube so thank you so much for your time and i look forward to seeing you again tomorrow peace bring that ass back like a boom